In the first part of this video, I'll show you how to add the newer modern layouts to your anime and manga list. The pre-made layouts will make over your list with bigger pics, more images and functionality, and other users can see them. I've also linked the big list of them under the video so you can try them all out. And then, in the second part of the video, if you want to use the older classic layouts, I'll show you how to add those to your anime and manga list as well. These classic layouts have to be applied to your list in a completely different way than the modern ones. I also link to those classic layouts below. But the first thing to know before installing any layout is knowing where your list settings are. So from your profile or homepage or most other pages on the site, click here. For the future, it's important that this box is never checked so that you're seeing list designs normally. Also, you can adjust the data that's shown on your list down here. You also may want to check the images box now so that you can see preview pics on your modern list later. If you do make any changes, save afterwards with the submit button. And also, pre-made layouts are going to be installed at the list style design tab circled here. Now with that stuff out of the way, we can install a modern pre-made layout. Come to the list style design tab and make sure it's set to modern. For most users, especially new ones, it's already set this way. If it's not, I need you to click on it and then save in order to use the modern pre-made layouts. Next go to the first theme here, the default one, and make sure the bubble here is shaded next to anime. Again, it should already be that, be like that by default, but if it's not, click it so that it's shaded there, and then save. And now we can click on the same default theme. Here you can style your list and add the codes for a modern pre-made layout, which will transform your list. Uh, cover image controls this pick. Background image controls the wallpaper by default with some layouts. And background image style is a few wallpaper settings that rarely get used. And in this box here, we can add the codes for a pre-made layout. If you don't see or can't use the box, it's glitching out, and you'll need to reset to default here, and you might have to save afterwards. But it's working now. So open a new tab and pick a pre-made layout from the modern pre-made layouts page that I linked you to under this video. Now, all of these images linked topics for the layout, and the code should be there somewhere on the layouts page. So I'm gonna pick this layout, and copy the code it brings me to. Now I paste it into the black box and save. Now this is important to remember, only modern layout codes will work in this box. So make sure the pre-made layout you pick says modern on it or comes from this page which I showed you earlier. If the layout you want to use says classic on it, it won't work in this box and you'll have to go to the later part of the video for the proper place to paste classic layouts. Now after saving, the layout is on my list but there's no background. Well, on that page where we got the layout, there's a link to the wallpaper, and I can go download that now. And I add it through the background image option up top here. Keep in mind that many modern layouts come with their own background and they change differently sometimes, but these simpler layouts are a bit more versatile with the wallpapers. Um, I could also use any other wallpaper I have on my PC already and upload that one instead. So you can use your own if you like with any of these basic layouts. Now let's try a more advanced design. Uh, it's installed the same way. You 
here's one. The code has been condensed into two lines. And we can add them here. It worked. And we can turn off the background image so it'll look more like the original here. Now our manga list has the same layout as the anime list because it's shaded on the default theme where we added the pre-made layout earlier. So to have a different layout on our manga list, we need to click the bubble next to manga on one of the other themes and save. And then we click on that theme. Now, we'll need to add a new layout code to this one as we did earlier, so don't forget to save. Now, installing classic layouts is a bit more complicated than modern. We're going to have to go back to list style design. And switch this tab to classic and save. Now click on the advanced CSS list design tab and say it's okay to create a new style ID. This will be for the anime list. Now create another style ID, and this will be for your manga list later. Now go back to the list style design tab and click on change my list style. You'll need to set the anime list style for the first style ID we created earlier and set the, the manga one to the second one we created earlier and save. And now we can finally add some codes for the first style ID under list style design and advanced CSS list design. So click on the first one here. This box is where we'll add codes from pre-made classic layouts. Open a new tab and go to the link for classic layouts and then pick one. I'll choose this one. Uh, keep in mind too, the layout needs to say classic on it or it probably won't work in this particular box. If the pre-made layout says modern on it, uh, it won't work for sure. And you'll have to install it in the other box I showed you in the first half of the video. Now anyways, um, paste the codes for the classic layout in the box of our first style ID and save. And it's up.
Now for the manga list, we need to go back to list style design and advanced CSS design and to the second style ID that we made earlier. Find the classic layout you want and copy the code for it, paste it into the box and save. Now, if there's problems with the layout, you can try to repeat the steps over again and make sure you have all the settings correct this time, but there's three other main things you can also do. Number one is go to the list tab and then make sure the settings are optimal for the layout that you're using. Sometimes on the official page for the layout, it will tell you the best settings for that particular design. Uh, just make sure you save after you change the list settings. Uh, number two thing you can do is if you're using a modern layout, make sure you have the modern template switch on on the list style design page. And if you're using a classic layout, make sure you're using the classic template. As far as I know, you can't use both at the same time either. And you can't use a classic layout on the modern template, and likewise modern layouts won't work on the classic one either. Now finally, if the layout still isn't showing up, it might be broken. Um, and the number three thing you can do to fix a broken layout is you can try to update any imports at the top of your code. A lot of times uh, complicated layouts use imports for various reasons, including big preview picks, and sometimes these die and you need to find a replacement, and sometimes they also need to be updated. Uh, this is often the case when you can see the layout but other users can't. Um, anyways, to fix or update these, uh, click the link under this video that says Fix Broken Layouts. I have some resources there for fixing and replacing imports, uh, particularly for layouts with the big preview picks. Otherwise, you might have to ask us for further help. And asking in that thread is fine. And you might also want to see if the original layout designer can replace or update the layout for you. Just please be kind when you ask.